Hello the Raps by viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Drift and Drive. So Drift and Drive is a top-down, very retro-inspired racing game. Uh, basically all I'm doing is tapping left or right on the screen and uh, that's allowing me to... Oh, go, 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 go! Brilliant. Uh, that's allowing me to turn left and right. And uh, fantastic, we've come in second place. That's actually pretty good, uh, considering we don't really have that much in the way of upgrades. Uh, so this is our upgrade station, I suppose you might say. I can upgrade the engine, the transmission, the tires, the boost, or I can get special upgrades as well. Uh, let's, for the time being, let's go with tires. I think we should probably get that, so we'll pay for that. And uh, let's get the boost as well. I think a nice little nitrous boost is, is quite useful. As you can see, uh, when I'm you know, looking at these items, there's a description as well. The bottle rocket from the depths of the amateur chemist labs gives you a tiny little boost uh, to get you going. Like different descriptions here are absolutely fantastic. McBoost, the boost to, uh, to use for the amateur racer crowd, cheap as chips and still gives you a proper kick. Lovely little descriptions and stuff like that. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of love that's gone into this one. Uh, so here we are. Let's see if those tyres have, uh, have, have done their job. So you see at the bottom I've got boost and that's kind of building up. And then I can just use it and that gives me a tiny little bit of boost. And hopefully that will save me from crashing out. Oh no. Oh, just about scraped a third. Whew. Okay, so we've got some more money. I've got $300 from that. So we've got $850 total now. Uh, I need a thousand really for a transmission upgrade. So let's let's give that another shot. So I think these games, uh, these kinds of top-down races, they don't come along too often. They used to be ten a penny back in the PC Engine, NES, uh, those sorts of days. But now they don't come along too often. And I actually quite like this. I think it's it's quite a nice little sort of throwback. Uh, I've got 1,350 now, let's see if we can grab that upgrade, we can, fantastic, let's pay for that. And uh, let's go on to the Amateur Series. Lots of races on screen at any one time, still locked at 60 frames a second, uh, I am assured by the developer. Oh, bit of a boost, oh dear, didn't really use that boost particularly wisely. And uh, I'm absolutely loving the soundtrack. It's uh, it's by Bayan, I think his name is. Uh, he's like an upcoming EDM dance music producer, uh, and uh, it's just uh, it's fantastic. It's pumping. It's it's energetic. It's exactly what you want. On the right top right hand side, you'll see there's a little play uh, like a film button. Um, I believe this has got every play and stuff like that attached into all of this good stuff so you can share your, your best victories. Um, so there's career, that's what we were just in. There's also time trial mode, that's kind of self-explanatory. One of the other cool things though is multiplayer. So I'm playing this on an iPhone 5C. Uh, you'll see in the background there there's jumps going on. And, you know, I, I barely scratched the surface of, of, of what you know the obstacles you can find in here are. Uh, so Number of players, two? No, let's let's up the number of players, shall we? Let's try and, there we go, four players. Screen layouts, default, that's fine. Number of races, let's just do the one race. Well, we're not even gonna need that. Uh, we can find out whether or not we want uh, uh, more cars, that sort of thing. So we've got all of that. I think we're good with this, and uh, we can choose race modifications. Uh, so, let's see, what is there? You know, instant boost charge, uh, super strength boost, auto boost, all of this good stuff. Inverted controls, geez. So lots of race mods, lots of good stuff in there. Uh, and uh, let's hit play. So as you can see, the, the screen is now comprised of four different um, uh, little screens. I can't imagine, well, I can just about imagine you playing this on an iPhone 5C. Uh, so each person ticks. Obviously, it's just me playing at the moment. I'm going to control the bottom left one and they just control a tiny little part of their own screen. Oh no, it's all gone terribly wrong. Have I managed to, which one's, which one's the one that's just about working? Are there any? No, yes. Yes, fantastic. There we are, I'm the little red one. I'm the little red one going for it. So yeah, you can see, you know, same screen, four player, multiplayer, perhaps doesn't work brilliantly on an iPhone, uh, but on an iPad, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. Uh, hit that boost. So, and I'm going to just hit the middle and come out of this. So there we are. This is 
Uh, this is, you know, a really, really cool uh, arcade game. It's called Drift and Drive, and it's out. Uh, it's out rather soon. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.